Hey folks, Quillithine here, and welcome to Let's Play a Little Grand Ages Medieval. Grand Ages Medieval is a, a new sort of strategy economic simulation game from the same people who brought you games like Patrician, um, Port Royale, and Rise of Venice. However, unlike those games, which are naval economic simulations, this is a ground-based one that includes some 4X elements in terms of exploration, the ability to create new cities, and more warfare elements. It has nothing to do with the game called Grand Ages Rome. Grand Ages Rome was a city builder. This is a completely different kind of game by a completely different developer. They do happen to have the same publisher though, which is why I guess the name thing works out. I will let you know this is a pre-release build. Uh, there's a couple of things that are missing and a couple of pop-ups you might get because the online server integration is not currently present but otherwise we should be in a relatively good shape. We're gonna start a new game. Now, I have dabbled a little bit with the campaign, just enough to get my, my sort of my feet wet, and we also looked at it a little bit in the um, in a live stream as well. But I'm actually just gonna go to the open game over here. That way we don't deal with the cutscenes and the storyline and some of the spoilers that might be there. We get a few more openings. So there I am, Quill 18. We can design our crest. I've already designed this one, which I like quite a bit, but you can see there's a bunch of different shield shapes. Actually, maybe I'll go with more like this. And yeah, you can choose, you know, different types of stripiness and whatever. I like this one here. Color and the crest color as well, which is the... I think it's a little wonky because of the black and white bit. Oh yeah, because of the background. There we go. So I'm gonna go with that one over there. And in the campaign, you don't get to choose this one, but here you do. Game World, Europe, Hansa, Mediterranean Sea, the East, the Black Sea, the uh, Middle Europe, Middle Kingdom, and uh, all of Europe over here, for example. Right, so you get the full thing. Uh, this supports up to eight players in this big game. I'm gonna go for one that's a little bit tighter over here. Um, Mediterranean is tempting, actually, I gotta say. Maybe we'll do the Mediterranean. I like that. Number of competitors, you can scale it up based uh, up to the maximum here. Starting region, where do we want to start? In Byzantium, in North Africa, in the Balkans, in Italy, in France, Spain. So you get to pick your region. We're going to leave it random. That's going to be fine. Starting towns. Looks like they're going to be randomized anyway. Starting funds, we'll leave it on the default. Starting funds AI, we'll start them on the same footing as us. And we'll keep it on normal difficulty. Um, looks like normal is actually maybe the lowest difficulty, but I'm just assuming that on the other ones it just gives the AI a pretty big advantage. And we're going to go ahead and start with this. Maybe I should have chosen a slightly smaller region. We'll see how it goes. Uh, basic controls. No, we're good on the tutorial. Thank you very much. We have started in Bursa over here. We can zoom out. It's interesting. We've got in the minimap, we do have the actual map of the world, um, despite the fog of war going on over here. Nice, okay. I like how you can see the mountains that poke up through the clouds. Very, very cool. So here's our town of Bursa. We are right in the split over here. I think this is going to be a great location. I like this. Very, very, very central. Um, I mean, not literally center of the map, which I suppose would be maybe like right here in the toe of Italy. But but with this location, we actually control a lot of the uh, the trade, I would say, maybe between Europe and um, the Middle East and Africa. A lot of it might flow through us. Now, I don't know how the resources are distributed in this game. Very curious, curious to see how it goes. Offer has been made. In nearby foreign city, you can view this request via the diplomacy dialogue. Offers increased sympathy with a particular person. So, we've got a couple of pop-ups there. If we go to the other city, I think we have to literally get over there. Um, to be able to see those offers again. I've dabbled with this game, but not much. Let's go Almost ahead, there. send our scout over to Izmir, and get uh, some information. We do not have a trader to start off with. Interesting. Got some prosperity going on. That is good. What kind of goods do we produce here? Lumber and bricks. Very important, because if you want to build more buildings, you need a fair bit of lumber and bricks. Grain farm, fruit farm, and a beekeeper. Now, what's interesting, if we've got both honey and grain, it means that you can produce um, some sweet... Um, some pastries and things like that. If we wanted to produce them in Bursa, we'd have to cancel one of our productions, which we can configure here. We haven't, um, we haven't unlocked the ability, the technology for pastries, but we could do that, or maybe found in another town would be the way to go, and we'll just send the grain and the honey to that other town. To start off with, I'm going to go ahead and build an extra lumberjack and an extra brickyard. We'll be a little short on resources right now, but that way we'll get more lumber and more bricks going, which will help us build quite a bit faster. Um, I suppose the other thing to do would be to go to the inn and recruit our first trader as well, because we will need to produce a little bit of trade. So the game does play in real time. It is possible. You can also slow it down quite a bit. So there it is, like, completely stopped. We'll leave it on times one. You can also hold space to speed things along. 
I require your assistance with something. Currently, we have a shortage of bricks and prices are suitably high. Wouldn't that be an opportunity to deliver nine units of bricks? I would be very happy to send you bricks, my friend. I we already have a trade agreement, which is fantastic. We produce bricks, so that's going to work out is very, very else? well. We don't need to submit another offer. We are in good shape now. And by sending them bricks, hey, we can make money by doing that, but we'll get a little bit of extra love happening. Cool. So, Bursa, no, we're still trading. Yes, game hints. Thank you very much. We're still trading our current um, our trader. It's going to take a little bit longer to go. We got the ability to build extra cards for a trader. We got our office over here. We could upgrade our office, apparently. Um, resist sieges longer. I don't think we have to be worried about sieges quite yet. I haven't actually done any real combat in the game, so I'm curious to see exactly how it will go. And see, our town automatically consumes a certain amount of stuff all the time, but we are producing more of it than we are consuming. At least the stuff we are producing. But there is going to be a shortage of some of the other um, amounts over there. Anyway, let's grab our scout. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. We could explore and actually discover a whole other town right away. I suppose that'd be a thing to do. Oh, there's already a trader over here. Now, there are neutral town. Izmir is neutral, um, not owned by me. So I own Bursa. Izmir is neutral. And here's another neutral town over here. These are not enemy players. These are people we're sort of going to be competing for. How's it going? Greetings. I hope this will be a beneficial arrangement. I hope so too. Right now we're neutral. I would like to at least be able me? to walk through your territory. So let's start with that. We'll offer you, um, I don't know, like three thousand bucks. Would that work? I can definitely accept this. You have a good offer for good. me. Good. And now we'll actually upgrade it all the way to trade agreement, so we can start selling them goods as well. I can definitely accept this. Good. What do you produce? Grain, wine, coal, wool, and cloth. Oh, so quite a few different industries than I do. I like that a lot. All right, let's send the scout around a bit. Oh, our first trader is now complete. That's great. Also, I think we have... Oh, we have three development points. That's wonderful. I don't know what we're going to unlock yet. We could unlock the technology and make pastries. Um, that's very tempting, but I don't know. It might be too early for us to settle our first city. Brewing, the smithies. So this is all different types of production resources. Honey production will be tripled. Really? That might be worth doing. Even though we can't do the bakery yet. Alright, let's get that. How much does this one cost? One point. Honey production will be tripled. Yeah. Alright. Um, allows you to build construction yards. You can build things faster. Storage. Towns can create larger stocks of commodities. Settlement construction. More advanced cart movement speed of settlers. Alright, let's get that because I do want to settle. Excellent. All right. So our trader over here, we're going to go ahead and buy anything we have an excess of. So even though we're producing lumber and bricks, we don't have an excess of it because we're using it for production. But we do have a lot of grain, fruit, and honey. Anything that's got the two barrels of supply there is going to be good because uh, we've got lots. I'm not, I don't want to buy more. I don't want to buy so much that the supply gets a little bit short. So we're going to buy up to the point where it's about to lose that. So we have 19 goods right now, which is not much. And we don't have any bricks to actually send these guys. I don't remember if there was a time limit on that mission. Hopefully there's not. Because we are using the bricks pretty aggressively right now for our own construction purposes. Uh, they will start to add up at some point. I'm, I'm assuming that well i don't know maybe they're still consuming more of them that's entirely possible so we're going to hold like space that. from time to time to speed up the game just a little bit oh we got another town over there um it's probably worth trading them Ooh, diplomacy request for the first time you should check it contains interesting offers do so simply click on the message right over here what you got ankara 7500 bucks for a transit agreement i'm going to decline i'm sure you I'm going to try to go for a slightly better deal. Oh, you wish to make me an offer. Transit. Can I get it for like three grand? You have made a good offer. Yeah, oh, see, that's better. Um, I'm going to hold off on the trade for now, though. Because we actually don't have that many traders. We're practically so. there. But we'll get things kick-started. All right, speaking of trader, let's go and see what we can do in Izmir. We should be able to sell all this stuff for maximum profit. It's also going to develop a little bit of love because we're bringing them some goods that they don't have any of, so they appreciate that. We'll go ahead and buy some of their furs and some of their beer. And we're going to bring that back to Bursa. Um, I suppose I could bring it down to... You know what? Let's do that. Because we do have a trade agreement over here. can't actually see your resources currently. Let's get on with it. It'd be nice if they produced bricks and had some extras. I really didn't check. So we'll get more popularity as we Let's trade things with, with people. Alright, so there's nothing in the middle. Although, there might be a sweet spot for us to build Let's our own town in the middle over there. Um, I'm interested 
in scouting. I don't know where the connection is. Maybe up no this problem. way. I want to see if there's a path to Europe through here. A little bit of beer, a little bit of fur. Let's get on with Can it. we walk across there? No. But it's trying to pathfind a different way. Maybe there's a way to get somewhere. Uh, interesting route. Not sure if I agree with it, but whatever. All right. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a little port. Sweet. So we can go. We can ferry across there. Wonderful. How's my trader doing? Do do do. We'll sell you the fur, the beer, um, and we'll buy some other stuff. Now, of course, we can automate these trade routes, and we will certainly be doing that at some point. Oh yeah. See. One click too many. It would be nice if there was maybe a more convenient way to not accidentally buy too many of a good. Um, that is uh, an incentive to automate things. So let's go back, drop it in Izmir. We might be able to sell some of that stuff. And hopefully by the time we get back to Bursa, we will have an excess of um, bricks and wood. These are almost done constructing, so that's going to be nice. All right, horsemen. What else we got? We might want, might want to go for an early settler as well. I kind of like that idea. Can build one right away. Ooh, that's going to take a lot of material. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to wait on that one. Until we can complete some of these trade deals. Maybe get a little bit more money going on. Oh, we got a cart sitting around in the wilderness over here. What are you going to have? Oh, some bandits are going to fight us. Hopefully we'll be okay. We'll try to monitor our scouts' uh, hit points here. We might have to retreat. Meanwhile, Settler, you're still on your way. Good. Bursa. You got some goods kicking around. Okay. We should be able to um, sell some stone first. First business just got completed. Wonderful. And let's go ahead and sell you all the wine, the coal, the cloth that we can. Buy some beer. There we go. Go over here. We're going to have to get some bricks. Way. Meanwhile, as my scoot. You're good on hit points so far. You haven't lost yet. Can't really tell the combat progress exactly. But if I'm not dying, I don't have to run away quite yet. So let's hope that keeps working out for us. Let's fast forward a bit. Get our trader over here in Bursa. We'll go and sell that and that. And then we're going to buy a bunch of bricks and wood. With Head over to Izmir. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more stuff I can buy. Being hyper focused on the stuff that I was worried about from before, but we could certainly buy some grain, some fruit, and some honey, and go there. And yeah, I should probably uh, automate the uh, the trader next chance I get. How's my scout doing? Taking a little bit of damage. He's certainly far from being dead. Take some runs at each other. All right, we'll revisit you in a little bit there, scouty boy. Fast forward to Izmir. And we will sell you all that, all our bricks, which should complete that quest. 20 of 9 sold. Boom! Mission accomplished. Getting some extra friendship. What's the, um... So this is the heart, which tells me what the city loves me. I don't know what this one is. And a little bit of money. And we can sell them a few more things. Over 50% romance. You were a big help. Oh, that's sympathy. Ah, I see. Sympathy, I think, helps get them onto our side diplomatically. All right. Prosperity is increasing. They're still missing some raw materials. I'm going to get their smithy going on. All right, trader. Listen, we're going to set up a, a trade route here. You're going to go from Izmir to Antalya, back to Izmir, and then Bursa. And you're going to keep on that route over there. And we're just going to Journey automate you. Begins. So you will automatically purchase that. We can tune the settings a bit. We can prioritize uh, things. We can balance. will just sort of optimize for most money. Production will optimize for um, uh, selling to businesses that need resources to fabricate goods, for example. So anyway, since we do have a little bit of wood and bricks kicking around. Oh, are we losing population or is that workers being consumed? Workers being consumed. 
missing labor, missing labor. Yeah. So we'll have to wait until these businesses get full up so that, because right now they're not actually producing that many extra goods. So we're going to wait a little bit longer before we do anything else. Um, certainly we are going to want to build a settler at some point. I really do want to use, um, get a pastry shop going on because deliciousness, if nothing else. Uh, there we go. My scout looks like it won the battle. Still has a little over half its health up. Found a chest, golden treasure, 15 grand. Not bad. Commodity pile over here. Hopefully there's no one there. If there is, we're going to flee. 375 coal sold in Bursa for a profit of over no 13 problem. grand. Very nice. Very nice indeed. An obelisk. Interesting. Shortly before your troops arrive. Oh, bandits. No, just Let's flee, disappear. man. It's okay. Flee all the way home. Let's disappear. Come here, we'll, we'll get reinforced. Okay, we got a neutral trader between the two towns, and that's always nice to see. Our spirit is rising. We can't build anything yet because we don't really have that many goods kicking around. Mounts are going up, though. Ah, and we no longer have the shortage of workers. Cool. You know what then I'm going to do? I'm going to start on a settler really early and try to expand that out. Excellent. Units and towns. My empire, village chief. Maximum number of troops currently is two. How do I go up from village chief? Current territorial team claims from towns. That might be it. If I can increase my territorial claims, yeah, I'll increase my rank. Uh, I don't know how my towns get territorial claims. Do I just need more towns or do they just need to grow? That I don't know yet. Maybe upgrading the town. Because there's sort of an inner circle and an outer circle. Maybe upgrading the office will give us more land. Or maybe there's something else I can build. There's the chapel. There's the barracks. The monastery. Doubles the maximum number of free workers. The workshop. Build speed of all works. A statue. Protection from fire. Ooh. Protection from earthquakes. Drought. Famine. Storm. Ah, how cool is that? Warehouse. So we can... Ah, uh, resale the town. Trade routes will then be able to deliver greater quantities to the town than it requires for its own need. Okay. We'll investigate those things a little bit later on. Trader, you are still doing automatic trade. Indeed you are. Wonderful. You're going to keep doing that. Missing building material. Yeah, okay. So we've consumed all of the wooden bricks for our settler right now. That's okay. We're still producing that stuff, so it's going to be fine. Not going to do that much trade right now. Just because all the towns have very limited production. So the amount of money we're going to get from trade is a bit limited until the towns get up there. But hey, we're buying some fruit and honey. Still worth something there. Now, if I did want to go and hire another trader, I don't think it would let me. Each town under your control, you're able to build one trader, one settler, one building squad. Yeah, we'll get back to you, though. All right. Troops. Um, reinforce. Yes, there we go. Reinforced from Bursa. So we'll just keep fast forwarding for now until things finish constructifying. Basically, just have to let the production happen. Keep an eye on our trader. There we go. And we are making some money, which is nice. How's the reinforcements coming along? Mm, it is not. We're getting support. Maybe there's still a shortage of workers. Free workers, workers, weekly change. Maybe. I assume there's something like that going on. Labor cost, income from goods. Because we do have our businesses that we are selling to our townspeople, so we do make some amount of money automatically, I think, in addition to the trade, although obviously the trade's a lot stronger. Yeah, we still just have to be patient for now. It may have been a little too early to build the settler. Maybe I should have upgraded my business a bit more. I don't know. Oh, no shortage anymore, so that's actually progressing, which is good. And I will want to... Let's build another lumberjack. I won't queue up the brick factory yet. I'll just do the lumberjack because I think otherwise they might complete for, compete for resources, you know, at the same time. And then neither one of them gets finished. So let's finish one first. Mm, scout is still... We're getting support. I don't know. I don't know how to reinforce them. You know, let's just send the scouts back into the world to find some let's stuff. Get on with it. Maybe we'll avoid some of the sites or we'll just keep fleeing if something happens. We're practically there. Ah, our settler is done. 
Press the Alt key while a unit is selected to display additional information regarding currently selected unit. Oh, that's awesome and very, very useful. Um, can't tell what all the symbols necessarily are. Looks like we've got fur over here. I'm assuming we we'll always get fish when we're on the coast. We don't have a fish one yet. Um, we've got metal and coal, neither one of which do we produce in our town. So I think actually a mountain site would be really good. There's more honey as well. Sounds good. Let's get you over here. Maybe in this little spot there. We're going to try to avoid too much overlap. Oh, there's wine possibilities too. We're setting off. All right. Are we allowed to be here? We can settle here, yeah. So here we would have access to more honey, metals, potential for pottery. Uh, no coal right here, though. We could move, maybe We're tuck in over off. there. That might be better. We won't have the honey, but we'll get the coal and the metal. Oh, these recommended spots? Oh, that's handy. So if we went there, these are roughly the same. We're setting off. Let's let's go in here. And it's gonna be lovely. Coal, metal, more bricks and wood. Um, oh, but that's it. It feels like go. we could get there. We could technically get pottery over here. Oh, not enough space. Sounds good. Maybe the other side. Can settle here. There we go. Not that we necessarily will do the pottery and honey, but it gives us extra options. Let's go and build that. Nicomedia. Oh, it even is on the road. That is very handy, so we don't actually have to worry about building another one of those. Really, really good. Now, you... Can I recruit a trader from here? I can. Good. Which is nice, because this place will have some... Um, some more resources, so it'll be able to build a trader. And this is this trader is going to be for the um, sending quite a few supplies over to Mico, Nicomedia, for example. It'll be nice to send a lot of wood and bricks over here because it'll need it. But I think what we'll also do, we're going to send our scout back to Ankara to do some negotiation. We'll set up a triple trade route between these three, very similar to what we have over here. Oh, there we go. Holding Alt shows us the resources that way too. Very handy. Oh, Nicomedia, we need to actually specify what you're going to get. So. We don't have colder, colder metal yet, so we want that. We don't have wool anywhere we own, which might be worthwhile. I do want to save some room for the um, the pastries, actually. We can queue that up in there right away. So it's got two more slots. I think it's not a bad idea to get more wood and brick production early on, because we do need a fair bit of it. And in fact, let's go ahead and queue up um, one lumberjack and one brick works right away. And of course, we'll have to send them some material for that. That's my new trader. Good. Um, your job to start off with is just to go to Bursa Nicomedia, run that. The route is ready. Actually, ah, you will bring lumber and bricks. Good. So you do double check that there's a need for this, even though technically it can produce wood and bricks. There is demand, so you'll bring it over. Wonderful. Then we'll expand his route later on to cover Ankara once our scout is over there to do some negotiating. There we are. What do you want to do? You got a lot of shortages. Submit oh, an offer. I want a trade agreement. And I'll offer you three grand for it. No, I cannot agree to that. Oh, no, you wish to make me an offer. Alright, let's try five grand. Your negotiation skills surpass everything. Well, I just threw more money at you, so that's the kind of skill you respect. Alright. Trader, we're going to adjust your route. And Kara to Nicomedia. There we go. Again, Bursa to Nicomedia to Ankara to Nicomedia. Good. I don't suppose you... Oh, you do do lumber and bricks. It's good. We can import some more. Should read the Chronicle. Do so click on the button on the right. Chronicle contains important information. Chronicles. Events. We found at a town. Ankara had a famine. Oh, yeah, okay. Definitely have to send them some stuff. Some fights we lost. Well, that's the one we ran from. We had that mission, which we completed. Good. Town foundation. Most towns founded. Quill 18, number one. Maybe because I'm playing pre-release, it's going to be easy to do a compete there. All right, we'll get that trade going on. So right now he's not bringing anything to Ankara. Mostly he's going to be there to buy bricks and wood and bring back Nicomedia. 
No, not much to buy, but a little something something. Nick Media is building that. It's not complaining about a resource resource shortage either, which is nice. Yeah, it's got a little bit of uh, bricks and wood still in storage. Very nice. You're doing some trading. Oh, is that the level upgrade? Maybe. Bursa, let's um let's upgrade your office. I don't see what that does. Um, what did I want to check? My empire. So right now, so now I'm up to 620. I want to know what happens after the office finishes. I mean, of course, we're using up a bunch more wood and bricks to upgrade there that we would prefer to use in Nicomedia. Oh no, we've we've got some resources. Okay, we're not doing too badly. Bring it back over there. So they're not short on wood, they're short on bricks. Actually, stock in town. You've got it, but it's a shortfall still, I guess, based on the production you actually want. Oh, you're just missing labor right now. You don't have an inn yet. If we built this, does it do anything on its own? It lets you hire stuff. Hmm, can upgrade it, get more citizens. Okay, so we don't need an upgrade to a chapel yet. Because your capacity is still low. Soldiers within supply radius. And you're missing your construction materials. Yeah. Actually, what did you need for that? Well, you need tools. One of these towns produces that. Right over here. Metalwares <clears throat> in Izmir. Let's see, are you going to pick any up and bring it to Bursa? Because we have a demand for it. Are you not successfully producing metalwares? That's entirely possible. So we're not going to be able to complete that upgrade, which is a little bit annoying. Meanwhile, in Nicomedia, we're mostly just waiting for workers to finish. They get two per week, which is not very much. Um, barracks, the monastery. Monastery, there we go. That doubles the maximum possible of workers, which is not what we're looking for. We want an increased rate. I guess we've got nothing to do but to, uh, to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in the video right now. When we come back, we'll continue to try to grow our little empire. And again, we're going to continue this Let's Play a Little Grand Ages Medieval. Not sure no if problem. we'll finish the complete game or not. It'll depend on how much fun I'm having, how much fun you're having. We'll play it by ear as per usual. See you next no time. Bye-bye.